Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Endspace on the Oculus Quest. The Taurus Sector. For centuries held by the United Trade Consortium, rulers of the Galactic Trade Routes. Under attack by a rebel group trying to steal the secrets of deep space travel. Now the war begins to protect the UTC secrets and regain its hold on the Tartarus sector. Okay, this looks cool. And space. A big thank you to the developers for this review key. Greetings, contractor. Welcome to the Tartarus sector. Deadly as it is beautiful. I'm Operator Soldano. I serve as a flight officer for the United Trade Consortium Security Division. While you're here, you'll be working under my supervision. As I'm sure you realize with the length of our trip up the Perseus arm, we are far from civilization. Resources to secure this sector are hard to come by, and we have a lot of work to do. After the long trip to get here, I'm sure you need to hone your skills. We prepped a training exercise to get you back in the saddle. Open up the contract board in front of you and select your first assignment. Okay. Now I do believe this is crossed by, so if you've got the game on the rift, and you've got a quest, you'll have the game on the quest as well. And the game is out today or tomorrow. Learn to fly. Okay. This looks really cool so far. Wow. Okay, contractor. I know you're an experienced Minos pilot. But since we couldn't take these birds out for a spin while the Conotero was in transit, you might be a bit rusty. What's more, this model of Minos is different. We've added a few new modifications, a warp drive being the biggest one. I've set up some targets to bring us back up to speed. This shouldn't take too long, and you'll need to be at peak performance for the rest of our tour of duty. Head to the first warp gate. Okay, the movement, my uh, movement is based on my head position, so I'm moving the ship. I'm steering the ship by where I'm looking. Now, let's test the afterburners. The new Minos has a thrust capacitor to prevent the engines from overheating. Boost a couple of times to become familiar with the limiter's cooldown time. I'm not keen on this style of movement, so I'm going to head back into the options. I'm trying to find the option to use the game with the, um, with the thumbstick. Okay. Game paused. Menu. So at the moment you steer your ship by looking where you want to go. Settings. Controller configuration. Use gates for flight. Use gates to target. I'm going for use gates to target. And I'm going to use the thumbstick to pilot the ship. Left hand flight controller. Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, so now I've got targeting with my head movement. I'm using the thumbstick to steer. Also by um, tilting the controller, look, I'm moving the ship. I'm also not a fan of that. I want to see if I can turn that off as well. I just want to be able to move the ship with the, the thumbstick. So head back into the um, options. Game paused. 
OK, I need to disable virtual joystick. When VR controllers are connected, only the thumbsticks will be used for movement. OK, I need to click on that. And it should be perfect for me to fly now, so... Head back into the tutorial again. Performance for the rest of our tour of duty. Head to the first warp gate. I've got boobs. OK, that's better for me now. I'm controlling the ship with the um, thumbstick only. My targeting is based on where I look, so I can look to shoot. Now, let's test the afterburners. The new Minos has a thrust capacitor to prevent the engines from overheating. Boost a couple of times to become familiar with the limiter's school downtime. My right thumbstick is um, controlling my ship up, down, left and right. And my left thumbstick is now my roll. Time to test your ship's weapons. Pull the primary fire trigger to fire the energy cannons. Let's see if you can eliminate your first enemy in the Tartarian Theater, the fearsome cargo container. Fantastic. I'm sure the independents of Tartarus fear you already. Head to warp gate three. I've got a oh. bit of a surprise for you. And it isn't more cargo containers. Okay, I need to find the boost button. Okay, I found the boost button. Okay guys, this looks amazing on the um on the quest. Okay, tilt. Roll. The Minos is equipped with a missile launcher and I've just disabled the safety, as well as the flight inhibitors on three captured Liberation fighters. You wanted a warm up, and today's your lucky day. To the lock, hold your gaze on the target. The radical will turn red when the lock has been acquired. Pull the secondary fire trigger to fire the missile. If you lose sight of your target, the lock will be lost. Combat feels really good. Okay, he's down. Up behind me somewhere. Where is he? There he is. Okay, lock on, fire rockets. I'm out of rockets. Oh, there we go. If you've never been in a spaceship in VR, then this is the title for you. This is uh, really, really cool. You really feel like you're in space in a spaceship. And the graphics are super sharp on the, on the quest. We did it. Hello. Okay, ship upgrades. I'm going to jump into the mission board again. And we're going to go for mission one. Scanners have reported a warp gate being used frequently by the Tartarus Liberation Front. We have reason to believe they are up to something that would disrupt our hold on the sector. Our last sweep of the system indicated there was still a small wing of TLF fighters in the area. Jump in, scan the area, and report back. Yes, sir. Welcome to 34 Cabanos, contractor. An M-class star with an extensive belt system. Our last scan indicates that at least one TLF fighter is still in the area. I've marked out three waypoints for you to investigate. Navigate through the belt until you reach the last waypoint. Alpha 2 will be accompanying you. Stay alert and find your target. Wow, these backdrops are really impressive. Okay, this is pretty cool. Really nice and sharp and clear on the quest as well. I'm really... Really impressed with the uh, graphics on this one. Okay, we're heading this way to investigate. I'm going to press my boost. We're picking up a high velocity optical. 
object in your sensors. Close call. Though there isn't really much to do about dodging those of one has your name on it. Maintain your burn toward the next waypoint. Okay. Now this is one of those games you'll need to play around with your control settings until you get it just how you like it. Okay, what's this down here? It's just an empty cargo container. Keep moving. And in VR, this has got some really nice scope and scale. These spaceships look huge. Okay, we're boosting now. Take him out. Got him. Be advised, warp gate activation detected. You have an additional. Make that multiple enemy contacts. Okay, more incoming. Now, once you get the controls just right, this is really instinctive. Okay, I've got lock on fire rockets. Take him out. Combat feels really nice. So I'm using my head to target. So I can look around me not to shoot. Okay, let me get a lock on and fire some rockets. Bogey down. Is he on my side? He's on my side. Okay, let me get a lock on. Fire rockets. Full boost. Being circled by my by my friend. We've got him. Is one more somewhere? There he is. Rockets away. Whoa, he just flew over me. And he's down. Keep it up. We're reading additional use of the warp gate. Brace for contact. Okay, more incoming. To my left somewhere. Yeah, there we go. That planet looks massive. Okay, head on. Take him out. Lots of bogeys incoming. down the 
if you've got a quest and you've ever wanted to be Luke Skywalker, this game will make you feel like Luke Skywalker. Okay, three left. I would like to have a boost button on the right controller as well because when I when I'm boosting in this mode it's really hard to turn my ship I can't hold down the boost button and use the um, left thumbstick okay how are we doing Take him out, spin around. Go down for this one. Game lined up, fire rockets. He's down. Boom. See you later, mate. Fast to get with the Tartarus Liberation Front was doing in this system. He was doing a loop de loop. Mission complete. On to the next mission. This game is really action packed. I'm going to have a quick look at the ship upgrades. Can I change anything yet? I've got 8,300 credits. Um, no, 25,000, 50,000, missile loadout, equipped, ALM-1 Meteor. I don't have enough credits yet to unlock any more weapons, mission board. Illegal mining has been reported in the crystal fields of the Thanatos system. No one steals from the UTC. Find them and destroy them. Okay. So this is a hunt and destroy mission. Two illegal miners have been spotted in the Thanatos crystal field. These crystals are extremely rare and are used in the creation of warp gates and drives. What you see before you is part of two major crystal accumulations that formed millennia ago around the binary planetary system known as Nix and Erebos. Destroy the miners before they can escape and sell off what they stole. Now if you choose to select my control settings, the one I'm using now, this allows me to look around look, when I'm flying so I can actually look around the ship. Now when you, when you first start the game by default, when you look around like this, your ship will be moving. It might be a bit disorientating for you, so... Targets in range. Don't let them escape. They know every ounce counts. The last thing we need is for the crystal fragments to fall into the wrong hands. I prefer this moving style. It allows me to look around the ship and fly the ship at the same time. Okay, we've got bogeys incoming. Are these like drones? Take out these little drones. And these backdrops look amazing, look. Okay, there's a drone somewhere, where is it? Four drones remaining. There's one. I'm being shot at by the um, big ship over there. Okay, I'm going into this one. Lock and fire away. Okay, one destroyed. And these ships look huge in VR. Look at this thing. Can 
collision alert. I'm stuck in the. Okay, it's going for the kill. Now, this ship has got tourists on top, I do believe. These are turrets here, look. You can take the turrets out. Or you can attack the ship from underneath. He's got no defences underneath. I'm just going to take him out. So there we go. Miners and cargo eliminated. Head back for deeper. Your ship's warp drive is suffering from interference, so you'll have to use the warp key. Make your way there. Receive from One of our spies reports that the resistance has a warp drive prototype. You'll be it's an ambush. Brace for an attack. We see five enemy fighters on your scanners. Take him out. He's down, okay. Wow, that was a cool explosion. The game's running super smooth, combat's amazing on the on the quest. And don't forget you can play this game anywhere. He's down. Two left. Bye! <laughs> okay, one more somewhere. Let me boost him. Is he hiding behind the rocks? I guess we know what was responsible for the interference. Clearly, they understand the importance of this crystal and are not ready to give it up without a fight. Let's make sure they don't get another opportunity. But we need you for another minute. Okay, let's have a look at one more mission. This is a courier mission. While you were in debrief, our agent successfully stole the TLF Warcraft prototype. Unfortunately for him, the ship he escaped in was rigged with a remote sub-destruct. We suspect the cargo was also remotely ejected, and need you to ensure that the Resistance does not get the device back. Beating them there shouldn't be an issue since they'll have to use the warp gate network. Lucky for us, this is where our new Minos prototype allows a distinct advantage. Getting you in a system before our enemies without putting the carrier at risk. That ends if the Tartarus Liberation Front achieves a working prototype. Okay guys, I mean look at this spaceship look. How cool is this? I can look outside my spaceship. I can see the wings and everything. Okay, let's head towards one of these waypoints. And this will be my last mission. Scan the cargo containers for mission cargo. Empty. Okay, that's empty. Uh, am I being attacked? I'm being attacked. Scanning. Warp signatures detected. Looks like the TLF scouts have arrived. That prototype is UTC intellectual property. If they are so interested in intellectual property, oblige them. Your cursor finger is resting on some. Okay, lots of incoming ships now. 
I'm boosting out of the way. Okay, I'm badly damaged, I'm dead. I'm dead guys, I got destroyed. Okay, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, this has been really amazing. If you're into space type games, if you want a, a dog fighting game in space, then this is the game for you. I would highly recommend it. It's one of my favourite games on the Oculus Rift S, on the PC version. I gave this game really positive reviews on Steam, and I also gave it a Steam recommendation, so... Really, really polished, really, really good on the quest. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Where's my body? That's me, my dead ship.